Hello and welcome to Vance Fury Entertainment. Today, something different. Today, I'm going to showcase a product made by Richard Wilcock. And if you've been around the Savage World scene for a while, you know Richard makes all kinds of cool stuff for Savage Worlds. So for example, he made his own cool setting called Zaga of the Goblin Horde. And for exactly that setting, he designed a special card deck called the Goblin Countdown deck. And he thought to himself, hey, why stop there? So he designed not only one countdown deck, but three. And we're going to look at all three today. Now, full disclosure, I get to keep the countdown deck I am reviewing here, but I would have reviewed it anyway. So that's just a really nice bonus for me. Cheers, Richard. Now, the three decks um, that you're seeing right now are the original Goblin Countdown deck, and then there are the Galactic Countdown deck and the Monster Countdown deck, and I'm going to go into details on each and every one of them. So, you may ask yourself, why is it called a Countdown deck? The reason for this is, well, the initiative in Savage Worlds is handled via playing cards. So, you get a card and you know exactly where in the initiative order that is. To make this whole process even easier and faster, Richard designed the countdown deck. So let's have a look. So as you can see, there's a number on the top of each card and that number corresponds with your place in the initi initiative order when using a Savage Worlds action deck to discern initiative. So you just so you don't even need to calculate your place in the initiative order. You just look at the number on top of your card and you know when you get to go. Or well, if you're a joker, then of course you can go any time, but still they are numbered. Also, a very nice bonus in the Zaga of the Goblin Horde countdown deck. There are not two, but four jokers. Makes for a very nice, very fast-paced deck. I've used decks with four jokers uh, in the past, mostly for the uh, Ripperscape I'm running. And that really makes for some very fast-paced turns. Or, as they are called now, rounds. So the primary use for card decks in Savage Worlds is for initiative, for things like um, dramatic tasks to check if there are complications, or for interludes. And the countdown decks, all of them, not only the Saga of the Goblin Horde countdown deck, bring something really cool to add on to that. As you can see, I've laid out three cards, and each of these cards, well, not just these three cards, but each card in the whole deck comes with a story symbol at the bottom of the card. So in this case, there is a sheep, an island, and an apple. And you can use these symbols in a variety of ways. For example, you can use them for interludes to give you some more ideas to what to bring into the interlude and to spin a tail. And if you're playing Saga of the Goblin Horde, then of course you know about the boastful tales, the Goblin chieftains tell themselves and their underlings when there's a bit of downtime. And you can use those symbols also to give you some inspiration about the uh, boastful tales uh, your goblin chieftain is spinning that very evening. Another great pick for fantasy games, maybe you can be even mixed with the Saga of the Goblin Horde deck if you're playing Saga of the Goblin Horde, is the Monster Countdown deck. Now, as you can see, the Monster Countdown deck also features four jokers, one for each sweet, sweet, suit. I think it's pronounced suit in that case, right? You let me know in the comments. And it also features a fully drawn artwork on each and every card. So if you need a wandering monster all of a sudden and you're drawing a blank mentally, you just whip out your Monster Countdown deck, you take out one of the cards and bang, you have a monster. And in that case, also, if you need some special properties to not make it one, just another boring version of a centaur, for example, then you can also take a look at the Saga symbols at the bottom of the Monster Countdown deck cards, because most of those reference um, abilities uh, of monsters. So in this case, um, if you have drawn a centaur, he could also be a mutant who has giant crab claws and maybe he also has arms, maybe he's four arms. He has two arms with giant crab claws and two he can still use his hands, which with he's uh, throwing spears. The monster counter deck also of course features the countdown feature. So one number on every card with a direct relation to where you are in the initiative order. 
Well, not everybody is playing fantasy these, these days, so Richard thought to himself, hey, I've got a lot of cool artwork, so why not make a Galactic Countdown deck? Same as with the other two decks, you have the counter number for initiative order featured prominently at the top, then you have saga symbols featured at the bottom, and this deck also features lovely artwork of planets on each and every card. So if you're running sci-fi and you quickly want to generate a new planet for a system, or maybe even multiple planets, you can just whip out your galactic countdown deck, draw a few cards, and bang, you have a few planets to describe to the players. Now if you need some more uh, properties of those planets, then you can use the saga symbols for that. And most of them already correlate to the planet they are printed on, but they can also be mixed. So let's say the system you're going to only has one planet. So you draw three cards, you decide which one of the planets looks the most um, appropriate to where you want them to go. So maybe you want them to go to a jungle planet. So you can just show them the image of a nice green jungle planet. You also get some inspiration for what they could find on that planet or maybe even around the planet. So maybe there's a, uh, there's a saga symbol of an asteroid. So maybe there's a big asteroid belt around the planet. Then there are, uh, of course, uh, tentacle whipping plants. So the plant life on that planet, it's a jungle planet after all, might be very dangerous. And then I am not quite sure what this one is in my interpretation. Maybe also the parts of the planet are, uh, are have a very active have active volcanoes or something like that. Maybe it means something completely different to you. Maybe that is um, lightning. So very heavy weather, rainstorms, lightning crashing might be interesting and very difficult for the party to land and to get to their objective. You get the idea. The symbols mean something different for everyone who looks at them and every symbol has multiple meanings even for the same same person regarding to context in which you are using it. So you're going to get a lot of inspiration mileage out of uh, these three decks. Uh, you can find the Countdown deck on Drive Through RPG, where Richard Woolcock publishes uh, his great stuff under his label Zadmar Games. The Countdown decks can be purchased either as a print and play PDF for three dollars, or you can buy them as print on demand cards from Drive Through RPG cards for twelve dollars a pack, and that's pretty much a steal for the kind of value you can get out of that kind of a playing card deck. In this review is humble opinion, of course. Your mileage may vary, but seriously, we are Savage Worlds players, we are already card deck addicts. So you're probably buying them already, not even watching this video anymore, right? Yeah, thought so. So those are the countdown decks made by Zadmar Games. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next video. Stay savage.